welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. It is another lovely day here in the United Kingdom. A couple of days ago, you guys saw me unlock this thing, the Nissan Pulsar. It is essentially a baby Nissan GTR. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link to it down below. I would highly suggest you check it out. Super, super cool car. Anyways, in that video, I promised you guys that today we would be unlocking our Peugeot 205 Rally! <laughs> Again, an awesome little rally car. This is the final one. Wait, 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 wait. You guys are telling me the Forzathon shop changed for a hundred points? You could buy a Lycan Hypersport? So, wait, it's all the same stuff as yesterday, but for some reason, they decided to add a Lycan Hypersport on top of it. Stardew Rally, thank you very much. Three stars across the board, and with that, the Peugeot 205 Rally is officially ours. A super cool rally car. I will be honest, in terms of Forza Horizon 4, I don't expect it to be very good stock. Its front wheel drive has less than 100 horsepower and is the very bottom of C-Class. We are gonna get smoked by everything out there. Anyways, I don't really plan on doing too much rally racing with this car, if I am totally honest. I have two builds that I bet you didn't really expect me to do with this thing. Anyways, Peugeot 205 Rally, shall we give you a go? I will be honest, I'm not the most knowledgeable about any French vehicles. I'm sorry, I have no fun facts about the Peugeot 205. However, there were some things I did want to talk about with this car and with, I will be honest, like the Forza Horizon 4 rally update as a whole. This is actually the final rally car that we're going to be getting in this update. We're going to be getting some more cars announced on Monday. So obviously, if you want to know what those are, make sure you subscribe and stuff and things. However, if you remember the video that I made last month when these cars first got announced, I was super excited because I was like, we're 100% gonna be getting an OP rally car. And based off what I've discovered, and although it's early days still, sometimes it takes a really, really long time for like OP cars to like come to, come to light. There's actually nothing crazy with any of the rally cars that were dropped in. There were six cars and none of them were that insane. For sure, there's cars that are fast and that are fun to drive, but there's nothing that's top one car in the world, which I guess is a good thing, kind of a bad thing. I always like to be pushing the bar and pushing that like threshold higher and higher. I will say Peugeot 205, you did way better than I expected. Your front wheel drive. And that was a little bit of like a rally race and we, we won. <laughs> I really wasn't suspecting that, but I'll take it. I was going up against a D-Class car. I take back what I said, never mind. As I was saying, I have two builds that I want to build with our Peugeot 205 Rally. Twitch chat, you know what? I'll let you guys decide what we're going to do first. Shall we be a hooligan or shall we be a hoonigan? Yo, everybody wants me to be a hoonigan first? Really? That's gonna mean good old-fashioned drift car. So we've got our stock engine, 99 horsepower. Oh boy. Well, today's not gonna be a day of horsepower, is it? I I've heard some rumors online that the Peugeot 205 Rally is one of, and I'm not joking here, the best rally car- what? Drift cars in the game. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I couldn't tell you, but for some reason, Apparently, it's really good at drifting. Why do we have 305s on this car? Why is that a thing? Engine spacers, you all... I love this game. This game is so good. I, I, I guess we save the best for last in terms of like the rally update cars. That's so sick. 512 horsepower. That's not bad. I, I will take that. That should be... Plenty to go drifting. That is so cool looking. What an engine noise. We may need to. T what a sick engine noise. Anyways, as I was saying, this is only our first drift build for this thing. 
I've built this into basically a more realistic Dick drift car. Yeah, you think we can get a good score up the hill? Probably not, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Straight up we go. This is this is so sick. This is very, very wait, is this A class? This is A class rear wheel drive. You take this thing online, I think you're gonna surprise a lot of people. This is what I mean. I love the variety. That is awesome. Perzo 205. It should be called the Perzo 205 Drifty instead of Rally. Anyways, that was build number one. That was our fun mess around one. Nothing serious. Now, I want to turn the difficulty and the skill up a little bit. You may remember one of our friends, Mr. Fujiwara. This is the reason I know this car is so good. And he has been smashing some of his personal best drift scores. This one is lighter. It's got more horsepower. It's S2 class and it is all wheel drive. I mean, I'll give it a go myself. My personal best, 123K. I don't know if I'll beat that. Yo, it's already sliding. Jeez. It is so fast. What? Oh, oh. There's very big differences between my tune and his tune. We're still off. We did that entire corner off-road. Okay. That practice run. DJ says, maybe try your favorite drift road down by the beach. This is, yeah, maybe. We'll come down to this one. Personal best, 129K. Let's see what we got. Come on, rally. <laughs> Send it right the way through, bud. If I stay on the power through this, it is so slidey. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, 100%. No doubt in my mind. With with some practice, that can 100% take down my personal best. Mm, don't drop tires. No, no. It's such a handful to drive. Like, for real, <laughs> 111,000 points on a terrible run. We will come back to the OP drift nature of this car in the coming weeks. So, if that's something you want to see, make sure you subscribe. Back to the Horizon Festival. Let's turn this into the hooligan. Because we're about to go and ruin a Peugeot 205. We are going to toss... The mega powerful 1.6 liter engine in. We are going to keep this front wheel drive. And I would like to apologize in advance. But I'm going to try to turn this thing into a front wheel drive reverse wheelie car. I don't actually know if it's possible. So we'll have to see. But I am going to cross major, major fingers that we're going to be able to do it. We're going to have to go back to the good old fashioned ways, drag tires, super thick boys in the front, super thin boys in the rear, and weight reduction, that brings us down to 1,500 pounds in this car, that is insane. We'll get our couple of engine upgrades a-going. With all of our upgrades installed, we've got 668 horsepower, super lightweight and we're close to the top of s1 class now i am feeling very very confident in the peugeot 205 rally which i guess should now be called the wheelie <laughs> that works as well like you usually you'd be able to toss on like a big old front splitter to give you more downforce in the front and stuff but this thing only has rally lights because of, i guess at the end of the day it's a rally car oh no Really, you're gonna try to make my life difficult by wetting the entire drag strip where I need to do this? For real? Let's see. In three, two, one. Oh, it, it tries so. It tries. It tries. It's it's on three wheel. What are we doing, guys? I think I see the reason 
why this car isn't doing a wheelie. DJ says lift the front. It looks like you lowered it. Attempt number two, three, two, one. Yes! Yes! It works! <laughs> no way! No way! Yes! <laughs> I thank you! I thank you! I thank you! That is what I call the Perzo 205 wheelie! Ha-ha! <laughs> uh, losers! <laughs> Get over! It... Why? Thank you, fire! Much appreciated! Now... Oh my god! Ah! Alright, well now we can go on a little bit of a lovely tour! You can go wait in line for your festival wristband and ignore social guidelines. You can go explore it and pretend you're a Mustang. Oh, uh, never mind. I lied. I lied. I lied. You can't go that far. Um, I, hmm. I, I will be honest. I don't know what this one is. Oh, that is amazing. If you want to go and download this tune, this one is called Wheelie. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. That is it for the rally update in Forza Horizon 4. We will be back on Monday showcasing all of the new vehicles coming to the game. I cannot wait for that. I gotta say overall though, pretty solid month. I would have loved some more diversity, but overall all of the cars we got were pretty cool.